So here we are on Party 93.4, 94.9 FM in Hudson Valley with Simon Mejia of Bomba Stereo. It's uh, nice to have you here for this interview. And here we are at the new parish in Auckland. You guys are setting up, ready to, to rock this venue tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, actually uh, the second time we play here in this venue. In this venue, okay. Yeah, it's a really nice place. You know? all, the, all the gigs here in California are very special. Uh, very special. I saw you guys at the same row maybe two years ago. Uh, the, the park. The, the park. Yeah, it was a beautiful one. Also. Yeah, it was very With Giovanotti. With Giovanotti, yes. Uh, yes. Nice, nice one. Yes. So, Bomba Stereo. You guys are from Colombia. Let's have like a little uh, recap about the band and uh, and uh, you. I think your first album is in 2006. Yeah, it's, yeah. it was an album that I made myself. You. It was like a more more uh, kind of an instrumental album. And then when I was making that album, I met Liliana. Liliana, the piece of that singer. So and then after that, uh, the project evolved into forming a band. No? It was that's the, the real like band. a personal project, and you now it's a band. That's a qu quartet. Uh, quartet, you know, with bass, guitar, drums, and vocals. And vocals. And yeah. electronics. Plus the electronics. So, like I said, Bombay Stereo mix, mixes like the the folk, like it's, what is the cumbia, the, the, the Colombian folk, with like electronic influ influences and uh, like lots of hip hop, rap. And uh, lots of like uh, uh, boom baton, like uh, like more like electronic, like heavy sound yeah, yeah. together. So that's the that's the, the mix you guys. Yeah, it's, have. it's more or less uh, in Colombia. We have a huge tradition in, in folk music because yeah. you know, we have a huge affluence of black people in okay. both coasts. We have the Caribbean coast and the Pacific coast. The Caribbean coast is is full of, of music, and you have the cumbia tradition there. So, so it's uh, our dance music in Colombia. The dance music in Colombia is still like the folk and the tropical music, and we just blend it with the dance, with the international yeah, dance based music. Yeah, and uh, and also it's the name of this tour, Caribbean Power. It's the, the name of one of the songs. One of the songs, but the name of the song, the album, the album is Elegancia Tropical. Elegancia Tropical, yeah. And it was released just uh, just released last, like the end of last year. Yeah, it was. We released it in October in, in October in Colombia, and then and then we just released it in Mexico, and then we're releasing it here, but with an English label. It's called Soundway. Soundway, yeah. Soundway. It's an Sun a, lab, a record based in London. Okay. But they are distributing in Europe and here in the States. And you guys had um, uh, you guys been touring in the in Europe already. Uh, no, uh, we're this, going. We are going this year. We're going in like in July. In July, okay. But but you've been before for promoting yeah, yeah, yeah. other like the album. We've been, been in last year. We went and we, we go almost every year, like and in yeah. summertime. Because we gotta say that uh, Bombay Stadium is touring a lot. Like it's doing lots of festival. Yeah, it's it's like basically touring. No, in the band, to, yeah. the, the development of the band has been like uh, playing a lot. More than producing in the studio, and it's like playing and playing is like a like a circus. It probably is. Uh, it's very important, like how to spread the word. No? The, the yeah, sure, to spread the word and spread the the music. The no, because, because we have the the sometimes the the language barrier, but I think it's not a barrier because the music uh, expresses lots of things. No, yeah. uh, like uh, the music we make is. <laughs> Kind of can be common to to many people because it has so many elements that, uh, despite it's, it's singing in Spanish, people get to understand it because it has like the, like the electronics, but the traditional music, but the reggae, but the hip hop, but the rock. So it's kind of an universal language in some way. Yeah, and also I think uh, I saw something like reading some interviews of you guys. You put that like um, like combining this element is good, even to for who is not from Colombia, who is not like who is not grew up with the like Latin rhythm and music is do a way to make more familiar. Like for for example, like European people they listen to something that like in the electronic way is something that you had before, but with 
like for Colombian folk rhythm. Yeah. So it's a good mix to and more like wider, for wider, 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 wider audience and and it's also the music that we grew up listening, you know, because in Colombia we have the folk music, <clears throat> but we also grew up listening uh, to to lots of uh, music from North America, from yeah. Europe, electronic, uh, like many, many things. So you, you grew up in a kind of an, a hybrid, hybrid yeah, influence, yeah. no? Yeah. You have the, the tradition, the black, the indigenous people, the, the tropical, Latin, but, but you also have from this side of the world and from Europe. So yeah. you grew up, you grew up with all those things in your head. And it's natural to make a music like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And you are the, the creator of the, of the music, mostly. Yeah, uh, mostly in, in this la la last album we worked uh, with the other two guys, with Kiki and Julian a lot, and Liliana, she makes all the all lyrics. The lyrics yeah. uh, but yes, I'm usually like making the, the basses, no? the, the tracks. The tracks, yeah. And uh, like briefly, I've, I've read that you are also a visual artist. Yeah. And what do you do, like? I, well, I, I started visual arts, but I I got into documentary. Okay, so you do I like do, be... I, I like, I'm very much into music documentary. Okay, nice. I made one in uh, 2008, but it was released in 2010. And it was a work with it in, in one of the these traditional towns in Colombia. It's a lot of traditional music. And we made like a portrait with all the singers, and then we released a a music CD with a uh, with documentary and everything. And I like that, like that kind of language. Nice. So you are like a musician all uh, all around, like 360 degrees, also like producing music, but also doing video. Uh, yeah, I like to. I like nice. To, uh, it's my passion, all those things. Yeah. Cool. And uh, how is the tour going so far? It's good. We're starting now. This is the the second show here in in the states. The third first show of the tour because we started in Acapulco, then we went in the weekend to Crystal Bay, that is a place no, in the no. Tahoe Lake, and now today is the third show, so we have like 10 and like... Yeah, see, I wrote down, like, yeah, but like, you're going to Seattle, San Antonio, Miami, Austin, Washington, like, oh, Chicago, no, New York, nice, yeah. nice so... Uh, yes, it's a good one, it's good. Like, and uh, I think you, you guys are pretty good on the road because you, you've been touring all the time. So. Yeah, we're, we're, the band has become like a family, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like touring with your brothers and your mother and your grandmother. And cool. <laughs> so you know everyone uh, very, very well. A family is more. Yeah, a family. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so here we are, Paris 93, 494, 9 FM in Azzo Valley with Bombay Stereo, Simon Mechiani. Yeah. The, the, the band leader, the band leader, the, yeah, you, can yeah, say you, you can say that, you can say that. And uh, just, uh, you know, about the making of the Elegancia Tropical. So how, how do you have an idea to explore more, like, different sound yeah. than before? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we wanted to explore with the folk music, but go deeper. Okay. Go deeper and, and, and see it like in a different perspective from the previous albums and also in between the, the previous album Blow Up and this one there was like a four year lapse and those four years let's say two or two and a half years were touring and touring and touring and going to festivals, watching music, and live music, watching lot, lots of bands of different sounds so that uh, I think unconsciously uh, influenced us to try to to look out at our own traditional music from Colombia, but from a wider perspective. Yeah, perspective yeah. So we we have the, the the rhythms, but they are like a, if you hear the album the first time, it, it, it hears like a little bit more electronic and more like ambient. You have more synthesizers and everything, but the the folk is below. Always. Yeah, and it's more like maybe uh, as like uh, intimate, uh, more intimate. It's more intimate, yeah. I mean, the, overall, but there are still uh, yeah, like tracks like. It's intimate, and the lyrics are are, all, are also. Uh, we're, we're talking about different subjects, you know, about different. It's more from the inside. The other one was more like okay, let's go on a party, have yeah. a nice time. This one is like okay, what's what's happening inside? 
More mature, more like... More material we're growing up. Nice, nice. And uh, what about the, your biggest influences, like musical-wise? Yeah, for me personally, it's, uh, I'm always looking into Africa, what's happening now. Uh, young musicians are doing now, and in South Africa, there are lots of interest in like, electronic projects. But also looking in Africa backwards, like uh, all compilations and music that were made in the 70s and everything. Like High Life, uh, Afrobeat yeah, and stuff. Yeah, Afrobeat, High Life, uh, the Lakuti. And, um, but, but I think it's always, you know, in Colombia you always find something that uh, amazes you. In the, traditional music you you find some old recordings and you get to something that you never heard before and that is very very influential and uh, all the electronic currents that that you see changing every month in London and Berlin is, is also it's also uh, like very amazing yeah, yeah. But I, but, I, but I try always to have like a distance because there is so many music in the world that yeah, to have a little bit of distance. And you have to find your way, like, in between. Yeah, your way in between and try to, to keep your head also clean, no? Yeah. yeah. And the last question, like, in 2010, you, you guys were nominated the best, uh, like, a new band in the world by MTV. So it was kind of a... Uh, huge. A huge... Uh, <laughs> it was, how, how, I mean, how you... I like, felt that, like, I was, like, for you, like... For, for me, it was quite a, quite a surprise, you know? yeah. I thought it was, like, well, what's happening here? And but I think it, it was, it's, it's just a title, you know? Yeah. There are so many bands in the world that you can tell it's not a sport, you know? That you yeah. say this is the best yeah. and yeah. the worst. And, but for the band, it was, like, a... a an important door to get to new audience and, and get to know people and the press around the thing and everything. But I think music is not about who's the best and who's the worst. No? Yeah. Music is just music. And you do it and you like it or you don't like it. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. Uh, you want to say something to Pare give a shout to Pare 934? Okay, no, this is Simon from Bombay Stereo and I'm getting to the Elegancia Tropical. <laughs> <laughs>